Hello and welcome. This is Nerd Dragon eighty eight here. I'm joined by Cal. Hey. And uh, I'm starting a special. I'm actually starting a new account for you guys to specifically show you guys the story part of Warframe. I love this game. Cal loves this game. Yeah. It's an awesome game. It really uh, is. The, the Warframe that you're seeing there is actually the one from my primary account, um, which is a Mag Warframe with a special helmet um, using a uh, Grenier staff. And, and you can kind of sort of see it over here, this this thing coming down right here is uh, my Grenier sniper rifle. So we're going to see, uh, so yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and log in and get started. Uh, so this alt, by the way, is Robin Goodfellow eighty uh, eight. My primary account is in fact Nerd Dragon eighty eight. For those of you who want to uh, say hi to me in Warframe, uh, we do also have a, a clan, but we'll get to that a bit later. And so our thing begins with a loading screen. For generations, you've slept. No purpose. No call to wake you. But now, something has risen from the ruins of the old. Alright, yeah, I'm still alive. Oh, he's dropping and he messed the end up here. Now I'm... I'm sorry. Well, I, I listened to you too. Huh? I must admit, the first time I played this, I was completely blown away by all of this. Yes. It is still kind of amazing. It still blows me away to an extent. This is uh, the Grenier. Uh, Good thing that we have these uh, subtitles here. Um, Phil's background is getting a little bit loud. Apologies! And tell Brock on his face. To see that the Tenno, hidden and asleep, uh -huh. will never awake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bring it. I get to pick a starting Warframe. There's the initial recommended one of the Excalibur, which is what Kel started off with. Hell yeah! There's the Mag, which I now have. Uh, oh, I should probably explain these in a little bit more depth. Um, the Excalibur is basically a master of solo by way of damage and generally not taking damage because he's dealing just that much damage. Dish it all out so you don't have to take it. Yeah, I don't think there, he has really much defensive capabilities. So you blinding enemies and then summoning the sword. The mag is meant to be your master of control. Um, I find that I have found thus far that I have not been using the abilities very much. Um, certainly not as much as uh, with the other frames that I've tried out thus far. Um, but, you know, it does have some useful stuff. It just starts off really kind of squishy. Um, and it was very easy for me to make mistakes early on, but I also wasn't keeping to the beginning areas. And then the last one is one that I initially started off with, which is the Vault. This thing is uh, a really nice ranged option. Um, you can shock an enemy and it will like go from one target to another. Yeah, chains damage to nearby enemies. Right there. Um, so it allows you to potentially flatten an entire room if you have enough power behind it. Speed boost combined with an Excalibur who knows how to control things at the higher speed is just amazing. Uh, the electric shield is the most defensive 
ability that I know of that is available because it actually makes a barrier that projectiles can't go through. And then the last option is kind of a, a local um, hit everything in the area. I, I generally prefer the shock over the discharge, but the discharge is good for things that are a bit tougher if you get really surrounded. Um, which I suspect is something similar to the crush here, but um, it's hard to tell whether it's supposed to be a single target or multiple targets. It seems to be very good at controlling a single target, though, for the most part, which... Eh, yeah. Um, now, I have, as I mentioned before, I have been playing on my main account, which means I also have an idea as to how hard it is to get your hands on each of these um, after you start playing. And from the sounds of it, the Excalibur is actually the hardest to get your hands on because it requires making items on a consistent basis to unlock a mission to then grind that mission to get the parts necessary to make the Excalibur. Uh, the Volt, you, do, you don't have to make all those mission bits. And the Mag, you don't have to make all those mission bits. And you can get the Mag relatively early on. Relatively. Um... You get it from Phobos. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the Excalibur this time. It's going to be a <laughs> very dramatic difference for me. I normally try to stay out of all of the melee. Get slashy! Normally I'm trying to do all of the ranged stealthy stuff. And I'm probably going to end up going pretty stealthy with my weapon choices. So I'm going to go Excalibur. I know it's the, the very first one that they have here for the recommendation, technically, because it's the first one that pops up. Um, it might make more sense if they had the mag pop up first. But, uh, yeah, by virtue of it being the hardest to get your hands on after you start, I'm going to start with it. Generally, the idea is to kind of get as many Warframes as you can and level them all up and then get rid of the ones you don't like and keep a couple of them. So you're constantly trading out Warframes. The thing is, if you decide to go back to one... If you managed to remake it again, you keep the level you had with your previous frame of that type. So that's kind of a nice detail. Same goes for the weapons. Wake up, Tenno. I wake up. <sighs> I see the Lotus has tried to wake you. Pity she's too late. You're my prize now, Denno. God, I hate that thing. No! We are taking this one with us! What has he done to you? I can't lose another Tenno. I am searching your Warframe's power systems. That is pretty cool. Quick, use your power. Defend yourself. Oh, cool, they gave me infinite energy for this. They also changed that up a bit. An extraction ship is on its way, but the Grenier will be hunting you. Arm yourself. This place has a lot more of the work in field than the last one that I was in. So they do actually change up uh, the looks of things a little bit. Um, yeah, this is kind of cool. Um, there, I have all kinds of theories about what is going on here. The Orokin are the old humans as far as we're able to tell, and then everyone else seems to be kind of a descendant thereof in some fashion. The Grenier seems to be what happens when um, cloning goes awry. Oh, my infinite energy is gone. Awry? That plus, you know, some zealous... Uh, Uh, how should I put this? Some zealous beliefs. Basically, the 
everything that is not Grenier needs to be destroyed. Yeah. Behold the queens. Yeah, so let's see. We have the... the Sakana, which is a sword. And then we have the Mark I bow, which is a staff. Bonk. Yeah. Uh, I used a sword last time I played through, but I'm not going to be doing complete opposites for all of the weapons from last time. But I am thinking that I'm going to go with the bow this time. Just because it, it's a bit different. As much as I like the swords, I might end up grabbing one later, but the, the bow, I think, is what I'm going to start with. Oh, that is a very slow attack. <laughs> it looks a little bit awkward and clumsy, too. You'd think. It's also unranked. I know that you got pretty skillful with it, and it looks sort of looking really cool after a while. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. No, oh, space to jump. Whee! Oh, can you actually make that with a just normal jump? I guess you can. See, I can do a double jump, which is awesome. You can do a slide, where you just kind of duck and crouch around and crawl around. The really fun thing is, once you're crouched, if you do a jump, you do this kind of cool spiral jump. You can double jump off of that to get even more distance and mobility. It looks slick, too. It also moves faster than a lot of the other movement types. So I'm going with this bow staff. Ah, uh, here's the stuff that I was more remembering. Earth. Or most of the places that were available for Earth. This is basically the generic look that they had for Earth for the longest time. Okay. Yes, I have ma mastered melee combat. Before, they didn't have that whole tiered thing right there. That's right, I can... Hold that to crouch, or I can hit the C button to just go down, because I think I set that in my settings. It was before something else, so I'm going to slide. Woo, melee! Oh, no, they want me to stealth attack this guy. How does I snap his neck? Curse snap. There's a cache of weapons ahead. Grab what you can. Do -do 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 -do. Hello, Mr. Lancer Man. Yeah, she turned around. So if you slide into an attack, it does more damage. If you do a jump and attack, it does more damage. Acrobatics. And if you're doing a wall run, which this room is not very conducive for. Um, okay, so we got pistol and we got kunai. Uh... So the pistol has the rapid fire stuff, but it's loud. Uh, the, the kunai are nice and quiet. They're a little bit slower and they arc, but uh, I like kunai. And I've been able to find pistols galore, but I've not been able to find Good. The great world is up ahead. kunai. Hurry before Vor finds out you've escaped. <laughs> Ahead. Hard to reload. Which you only hold 10 in your hands at a time, apparently. Then you have to do a slight bit of animation to go pick up more. Apparently, pistol ammo counts for your kunais as well, which is kind of cool. Can I stealth this guy? Make him stealth this guy. Ha! Right in the neck. What's over here? Something I also learned that is a good idea to kind of look around and scout around and see what areas you can kind of get to that you normally shouldn't. Why have you not reported it? Yeah, there's Vor. And the normal communication thing. With this thing stuck to my leg, he can do a special communication thing directly to me that takes up like the entire screen and it's messy and annoying and makes me want to hurt Vor even more. Other than this pack that he's apparently like a Nazi thing. <laughs> I mean, how many Nazis are there in games? 
refer to any World War II video game ever. Okay, that's the obvious thing for Nazis, though. I had to, though. And eventually I'll be able to get my hands on a primary weapon. To build yourself into a diverse and effective warrior. Alright, deposit. Supplies. Yeah, I probably should have meleeed those, but I didn't. I'll, I'll melee this container. Though. Eventually I'll be scanning all these to get all the information in my codex. Which is a, a kind of information depository that you can get. Which gives you information about things uh, mechanically, generally. Also a little bit of lore behind some of the stuff. The lore seems to be rather harder to get your hands on, though, other than just doing missions. I find a lot of it comes from dialogue. You made it. There's the extraction ship. That is my personal ship. Or not. Right, I don't have a primary weapon yet. You're not ready to face war now. Use your melee weapon to block the beam and get inside. Okay. So, yeah, it's saying to hold F to switch to my melee weapon and then hold this to block. Because I can deflect stuff. To avoid force beam or divert it with your melee weapon, Tenno. Unfortunately, they do not allow you to actually do any actual pounding. damage to him. This one is stronger than only. Lock the area down. This Tenno is mine. Quick, get to the console and release the lockdown. Do that, and I will guide you to your old ship. It's your only chance. The Queens want to destroy you, but I need to know more. Right, and I still have that, uh, my dash. Which I need to remember to use. What's in here? Oh yeah, that's right. If you're holding down on the left button as you do a jump, like that block thing, or if you're aiming, um, you go into slow mo. Tenno, you need to go to the console to release the lockdown. Mind you, it's only really you, and other things seem to slow down a little bit, but they're not really slowing down. But it does actually make it easier to aim at them while you're jumping. Yeah, she's trying to rush me, but I want supplies. Give me the fat flutes. Which is a common trick that a lot of video games use. Um, but the, you know, the urgent talking to try to get you to kind of skip over all the stuff that they put in for your first time through. I've marked the console on your map. You need to access it to release the lockdown. Oh, I'm in lockdown, okay. Fine with me. Yeah, I mean, really, if they want you to do less exploring, they should put in less stuff. Ah, zip point. Learned about these during a defense mission. Kel probably remembers that. Yep. Some time ago. Oh yeah. Yes, I know Lotus. Me time to find everything first, so I don't miss other things. Okay. And I'm normally pretty thorough about going to places and getting all the stuff. However. As you get on and playing, you will start to get more and more sloppy about looting. 
as just a natural side effect of yeah. playing. I mean, it can be cured, of course, by starting new, uh, you know, new accounts every once in a while. But you don't want to make a habit of that either. I've marked the console on your well. Map. You moreover, need to it's more it to for. Uh, it's better to do more of the in-depth exploration, like when you reach a new area, rather than. Hey, they released more guys. Ah. That took out a lot of shields. Don't know what that is or who's causing it, but bad. to go to the console to release the lockdown. Ah. If I kill all the dudes, then maybe th whoever's causing these things will die? Whoever they are, I do not like them. Ah, stop that! These lightning bolts are coming down from the sky. I, I think that's their way of trying to hurry me up. Ah, they didn't let me do the hacking. Get out of there, Tenno. Oh, you it's will Captain Vore. Another time when you're fully restored. Rainier, my sons, prepare the reinforcements. We need that Tenno. Okay, blocky, block, block, block. I block you. It's me. It's me. Unfortunately, they don't give you a lot of option for stealth right here. This is an option for stealth, however. You might notice I went to my kunai went straight through one guy and then to the guy behind him. Because kunai and bows do that. I'm still missing a primary weapon, however. Tenno flows like fire over the battle terrain. Do you remember how to dash across walls? I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. There are, are quite a few things that actually require a fair right. And it takes a lot of it generally. So, how, how important would you say fair right is early game? Hmm. If I had to give a scaling from 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a 7 or 8. Okay. Ah, primary weapon. The rifle, <laughs> which is very, very, very loud and rapid fire, which, okay, I can respect that a little bit. However, the bow. It fits my playstyle so well. Silent but deadly. I'm taking the bow. Of course you are. So, the only difference between this one and sure the other one is the fact that I'm using frame, the Excalibur. Remove it now. Just keep going. Your ship is up ahead. Oh, the dude right here. The dude's over there too. Yeah, you have to hold it down to pull the bow back, but then you release it and it just flies and goes through enemies and does so much good. And it's so much damage for just one shot. It's basically the early game sniper rifle. With a stealth module. Only well, there's no stealth module. Come on, speak mouse. There we go. The mouse was not allowing me to bring my aim down any lower. Because it does that sometimes now, which is annoying. Oh, 
Oh, and as soon as we get out of here and we get to the arsenal, I am so going to be changing the colors. <laughs> yes, I can use F to switch between the two. Ha ha! And you're ah. So, yeah. Staff. There are a lot of enemies right in this section right here that you can just totally stealth out with the bow here. That guy right there. Can't even see you. I can still hit him from this distance. There it is, your ship. Hurry. Vora's reinforcements must be on their way. Okay. Vora's reinforcements must be on their way, but they're not going to be here for a while. Right in the heck. Because it does actually matter where you hit these guys. And Kel's being all quiet again, because he's worried about the background noise. What's up, Bat? Yeah. So, yeah, by the way, we're going to be taking this video for as long as it takes to get through this area here. Um, and uh, it's probably going to be two, maybe three videos for the intro sequence, I think. I would estimate around there. New area here, huh? It, it caused a weird blackout on my screen for a moment when I went down a tunnel for a little ways. So I believe I already cleared out everyone over here. Oh, nope. A ballista. They're the snipers of the green air. They hurt. Yeah, uh, and as far as I can tell, they're of the same basic type as the Grenier Heavy Gunners, which Disengage are really hard to actually hurt. System so we can restart the ship. You'll have to bypass the security on that panel. Ah, the hacking tutorial. Grenier hacking is super easy. So you just wait for that thing that's going around to line up with those points, and they hit the space bar. Or, if it's an easy one like this one, you can just... Keep hitting the space bar on your first time around, or fail at that, and generally you can get all of them in one go. If it's one of the bigger, more complicated ones, you're Stop in for a hard you. time. What? Are my sensors deceiving me? Operator, is that you? Enemy yes, reinforcements are here. Ship Cephalon, we require immediate extraction. The operator okay. is in danger? I will need a few moments to cycle the engines. General. Are you afraid? You cannot hide from these old eyes. I've marked you. You will return to me. Oh no! A Grenier assault team is headed our way. The Grenier are on their way here and oh. Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> A Lancer just fell off the uh, walkway. Range guys that I actually have to worry about. The ship is ready. It's time to leave. Yes, I'm still here. I escaped! Yay! With all this whiteness, I will have to change that because I can do that. Okay. Operator, you have returned. I am Ordis, ship Cephalon, a shadow of my former self. I cannot serve the operator in such a condition. Order me to self-destruct, I will understand. I'm not going to order you self-destruct, Ordis. The Grenier awesome. are ravenous for this old technology. It is superior to theirs. Perhaps there are systems left in the orbiter compartment? Look at this mess. Those savages. 
Components have been removed. The lower orbiter compartments have no life support. Why did the operator abandon me? I did not abandon you. I got put Arsenal to Arsenal management could be restored if the operator wishes it. Yes. You honor Ordis. Now I can supply the operator with better market and firepower. Oh, the violation. Those have been looted as well. We need to figure out what Captain Vor has done to you and stop him. But we'll need help. I found a communication segment we might salvage for your ship. When you are ready, activate your navigation system. Ordis hopes the operator will punish the Grineer for dismantling it. Alright. One moment. Okay, yeah, so this is about an episode. So, join us next time as we uh, get ourselves outfitted in new colors and go to start repairing our ship. And Ordis will be so happy and awesome. Hopefully less talkative. Uh, Ordis is really awesome, though, and he gives a lot of the clues of the lore. So we'll be getting into that probably a bit more next time. So if you like this, uh, hit the like button. Uh, if you uh, have any thoughts or questions about Warframe, put them down in the comments down below. Um, and if you want to help support us to make more of these, hit the subscribe button. And to keep updated as one of these come out, as well as all the other content on this channel, which is a lot of it planned. I have so much editing to do. Uh, hit the alert! Hit the little nerd alert bell. The nerd alert. Yes, become a nerd and get notified as to when I'm doing all my nerdy things, or rather when I'm posting all my nerdy things. All right. So, till next time, be awesome to each other.